October 20th, 2011, is a date that will long be remembered as the day the Cornell College of Human Ecology managed to elevate a program that already stood high above its peer institutions. Thanks in large part to alumni generosity, Human Ecology celebrated the opening of a new 89,000 square foot building that will enhance the school's dedication to the human condition. Within these halls, students will be working with faculty on a variety of issues spanning sustainable materials, biomedical materials, nanotechnology and design to create the next generation of smart clothing, human mechanics and engineering, and as I said, that's just a few of them. As students, staff, and administrators gathered to celebrate the new facility, they were honored to host several distinguished human ecology alumni whose financial contributions made a dream become a reality. Barbara Gross, a 1953 human ecology grad, knows firsthand how important the college's work is and didn't hesitate when the opportunity arose to advance the program that is especially close to her heart. I would say that my educational experience were a proved to be a very firm foundation to my later life. And I firmly believe in the future of the college and the wonderful areas in which they are embarking upon, which really will prove to be uh, beneficial to our society as a whole. Barbara isn't alone in her love for Cornell. Her husband, Norman, a 1953 law grad, says their emotional connection to the campus has always been strong. Barbara and I met at Cornell in 1951. We shared enthusiasm and excitement about Cornell then and have ever since. All human ecology students will benefit from the grossest generosity, but none are more appreciative than their very own granddaughter. I'm really glad that I have a class in the new building, um, get to enjoy the space out here, which is really nice, especially uh, on a day like today when the weather's nice and you can just like eat outside or do work outside. I think human ecology really needed some more social spaces. For Marilyn Barter, human ecology grad of 1969, the evolution of the program and the increasing importance of the research was a major source of inspiration for her support of the new building. It's so interesting and it's so exciting to see how human ecology has changed its mission from when I graduated from here in the late 60s to now. It's so much more now. You know, the um, Translational Research Center that has just opened is what universities are talking about across the world right now. They're looking for ways to find opportunities to collaborate among departments on campus. This college has been doing that for a long time, and these new facilities will, um, will just facilitate all of that. Dedicated alumni like the Barter and Gross families make it possible for graduate students like Tom Ellingham to make crucial discoveries that will advance both the college and the industry. While the new building symbolizes a renewed commitment to invaluable research, it also stands as a beautiful reminder of Cornell's dedication to green practices and sustainability. So we redeveloped the brownfield and there's a lot of exciting um, materials that are sustainable. All of the furniture is ergonomic and most of it is regionally sourced within 500 miles. We have a few stations in the parking garage where you can plug in your electric car. The flooring is all sustainable and usually made up of a certain percentage of recycled material. While many alumni might not have the capacity to contribute at the same level as Barbara and Marilyn, they want to remind their fellow alumni that support can come in many forms. Try and become involved because it is very gratifying to know how much on the cutting edge the school is in terms of solving some of the problems. I think the important thing is to be involved. And everybody's contribution is valued at whatever level, if it's thoughtful and meaningful. You know, the, the size of it is going to vary depending on what people are interested in and what their course their life took. But the meaningful participation is what's important. New buildings are erected on university campuses every day, but few have the distinction of being a state-of-the-art facility 
that not only allows students and faculty to conduct research that serves to benefit mankind, but allows them to do so in a building that supports the well-being of the very people they serve.